Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working into a really exciting project that was given to me during an interview. And now I am passing the challenge on to you. The task is to build a patient feedback system using Microsoft Power Apps and I will guide you through the requirement today. So before we get started, here is a quick challenge for you. I am going to walk you through the requirement for this project, but I won't show you the solution immediately. I want you to take on this challenge yourself. Try building the app on your own and then come back to compare your solution with mine. You can download the requirement document from the link in the description or my bio. So it's a great way to learn by doing rather than just watching. So let's get into the requirement for this project which I provided in this document. So this document which was given to me is having three sections. First is the challenge, requirement and the sample data. So we have to build the patient feedback system. So currently a hospital is capturing the feedback manually so which takes 15 days or a month. So the objective is to develop a feedback system immediately after the patient discharge. So create it as an online form and link it to the real time dashboard for management review. So the requirement is create an application using Microsoft Power Apps. It will contain three screens. First one is a login screen. Second one is the form. So where we will check whether patient billing has been done or not. Third is the feedback form. The data which we collect from the feedback form should go into the SQL Server. And on submit the button, Power Automate should be triggered to refresh the Power BI dashboard. And we need to create one report page where we will have to display the reports. There will be a real-time progress tracker. Let's see the details of these screens one by one. So the first screen will be the login screen where you will have the username and password. So there will be a captcha. So once user will provide the correct captcha, username and password, when we hit login, so he will navigate to the second screen. If he provides the wrong username or password or captcha, then message will be displayed. First thing is the username. So the logged in username will be displayed over here in the top right section. This screen contain the patient record. So when patient ID is entered into this column and hit enter, so all the details of patient will be filled automatically which includes patient name, phone number or mobile number, email id and there are two radio buttons here for bill cleared yes or no so once this bill cleared is enabled so we need to enable the feedback button otherwise this feedback form button will be disabled so this is a feedback form which we have to build so here we need to provide the feedback of hospital on various parameters so if we see a b c d uh, these are the parameters where we need to give the ranking. So the first one is the promptness and courteous behavior of the billing reception counter. Second one is the please rate your experience with the consultant or doctor. Third is the courtesy of the doctor and the nursing staff. Timely availability of the investigation report. Cleanliness of the toilets, cafeteria and one more would you consider aim for future medicine needs. So we need to provide the rating on based of these five parameters whether it's excellent, good, average, below average and unacceptable. Apart from that, user can also enter the comment or suggestion and hit on submit. So on submit, data must be loaded into the SQL server. Second, mail should be triggered as an acknowledgement. Third, there should be a notification saying thanks notes on the screen and Power Automate should be triggered to refresh the Power BI dashboard. So now that you know the requirements, so it's your turn. You can take your time and see how far you can get. Once you are done, come back. We will walk through my solution together. Make sure to share your screenshot of your power app in the comment below. I would love to see how you tackle the challenge. So let's see how you can download the file. You can open this bio link which is given in the description. You will end up on this page. Scroll it down. In the last section, you will see the patient feedback system and the power app challenge button. Just click on it. You will navigate to a box link and here click on download and save it. Your file will be downloaded. So this hands on experience will help you to learn more effectively instead of just watching the final solution. Good luck and see you soon in the part two. I will release the solution video on the next week. Thank you.